Adele Mountains Volcanic Field. Adele Mountains Volcanic Field, also known as Adele Mountains, Adele Volcanics, and Adele Mountain Volcanics, is an ancient volcanic field of heavily eroded 75 million year old igneous rocks about 40 miles long and 20 miles wide. And I will be posting this information. Uh, so Adele Mountains is the highest peak in the volcanic field at 7,093 feet above sea level. Now you get a better view, and we're moving on to the next one. Lowland Creek Volcanic Field. Contains isotopic ages of igneous rock and polymetallic. And we're moving on to the next one. Elkhorn Mountain. Is an inactive volcanic mountain range with the highest peak being Crow Peak at 9,414 feet. Right next to Elkhorn Peak, 9,381 feet. The range is surrounded by the cities of Helena, Montana City, Townsend, Whitehall, and Boulder, and is part of Helena National Forest in Montana's Jefferson County. Another gorgeous view. And we're moving on to the next one. Big Baldy. Several people in the area around the mountain, including some scientists, believe that Big Baldy Mountain, including nearby mountain ranges, were formed from magna that never made it to the Earth's surface several thousand years ago. Even though evidence is slim at the summit of Big Baldy itself, satellite views of the mountain show noticeable craters and features that indicate possible volcanic activity. And you can read more on it. On the KML. And moving on to the next one. Limestone Butte. Is a lacolith exposed by erosion of overlying strata near the Stillwater Igneous Complex.
And moving on to the next one. Big Butte. As an extinct volcano, the town is named after Big Butte. The town also put an M on Big Butte. So you can see there's an M on there. And this is Big Butte Town. And you have Mineral Museum over here, World, of, World Museum of Mining. Big Butte Open Space Recreation Area. So some interesting stuff over here. And moving on to the next one. Cascade Butte. One of three lacolists belonging to the Adele Field, which are famous local landmarks. And if you can tell, same place we have Square Butte. Oops. <laughs> and moving on to the next one. Square Butte. It's also in the same place as Cascade Butte. You can see Cascade's here, Square Butte is here. Huge. And moving on to the next one. Shaw Butte. Shaw Butte is one of three lacolists belonging to the Adele Field, which are also famous landmarks. And this is the Shaw Butte here. And moving on to the next one. Crown Butte. Crown Butte is one of four buttes located in the area west of Great Falls. And those other buttes would be the ones that I've shown y'all. Um, Cascade Butte, Square Butte, and Shaw Butte, and Crown Butte being the fourth one. And we're moving on to the next one. Saddle Butte. I guess you could say it kind of looks like a saddle. Is a landmark and towns are named after it.
And moving on to the next one. West Butte. Can get a picture top. There we go. It's composed of a cluster of lacolithic domes. We'll let this turn for a minute. And we're moving on to the next one. Sweet Grass Hills. Is the highest point of the larger mountain mass known as East Butte in the Sweet Grass Hills. The Sweet Grass Hills are really a loosely connected island range of small volcanic mountains rising some 3,000 feet above the prairie below. You can see over here Mount Brown, White Lash. Mount Royal, thank you guys for watching my video. Please tune in. I will be doing another one soon. Thank you. Um, also, please subscribe, hit like, check the links below the video. I do post links below so you can go and get the KML for the maps that I make for these areas. Um, so that you can keep them on your Google Earth and know where the volcanic areas are. Thank you and have a nice day.